Hey guys, it's Vix and welcome to Back in the Day Episode 3. This episode actually features Wakas again, but before we start, please guys thumb this video because I don't know if you're enjoying this series. I'm only getting like probably about 10 likes on each video or each Back in the Day episode, so if you could please thumbs this up, I really appreciate it. Now guys, full Back in the Day Episode 3. This is going to be a very weird story, especially if you're not gay. So, we are in our first year of high school and we had a transfer student. Um, in probably about in the middle of the year. So this transfer student's name was Ross. And you're probably wondering who the hell's Ross. Well, Ross was this white, probably, okay, fat, skinny kid. He wasn't too fat, he wasn't too skinny. So he was, he was alright. <laughs> oh, so I'm gay there. Nothing wrong with being gay, though. Nothing wrong with being gay. Let's check this double kill. Own oh, peace. Oh, bitch. Now, Wackass and Ross, uh, basically Ross was on crutches, guys. So if you're on crutches in my high school, what the school did was they would assign, like, another student with you so he could open the doors whilst you get your dinner and you would be able to go first so he doesn't like injure himself more so me and Wakas saw this opportunity to you know use Ross to get dinner first and <laughs> we, we, we exploited the bastard so much and we used him a lot now when Ross uh, Ross was on crutches of course so me and Wakas used to take him and I was like I'll open the doors Wakas carries him so we both it was a win-win situation and we would get our dinner first because uh, there was no one there. So it was, I think, um, uh, it was a different day, and Wakas was like, "Dude, I think Ross is gay." I was like, "No, I don't think he is." He's like, "No, I think he's gay." I was like, "Okay, why is he gay?" And he told me that he, well, Ross was feeling his leg up in uh, music class because me and Wakas didn't have music class together. So I was like, "Okay, uh, I don't believe you." It was like, "No, trust me, dude. I felt it and I saw it." And he's like. I don't think so, man. Ross isn't gay. So a week passed by, and it was drama class time. And in drama, I don't know how it works in America, but in the UK, you have to get changed because the school thinks that if you take drama, and you'll sweat a lot, so you have to wear different clothing from your school uniform, so you don't smell like a let's smell like the bullshit. So <laughs> school said you have to wear different clothing. We were like, all right, fine. So we used to bring our PE kits in because that was totally fine, that was totally acceptable. You don't have to bring tracky bottoms and uh, whatever top you want, you can just bring a PE kit in. So me and Wakas got changed and Ross obviously couldn't do it because he was on crutches and um, he couldn't do drama because it would hurt his ankle or whatever was injured at the time. So since Ross was on crutches, we decided, uh, we, we, did the, we did drama, we did the play, and, you know, because we changed, we have to go back to the changing rooms of drama and then re-change into our school uniform. And, wow, oh my god. Here we go, guys. Here's the funny bit. So, Ross, uh, me and I was getting changed, I put my pants on, uh, and, you know, you put your pants on. It's a school uniform, so it's proper pants, a t-shirt, tie, and a blazer. So, we were putting our pants on, and... Well, Wakas. Well, Wakas was a, he was a dope. He was a slob. He didn't really care about his appearance, and uh, he, he he just didn't care. So me and I'm changing. I'm pretty much changed. I'm just putting my tie on. I'm talking to Wakas, and Wakas just uh, he put his shirt on first, then put a tie on, and then he put his pants on. <laughs> so he put his pants on, and then he buckled the you know the he buckled up from the waist. That's the main buckle thing. So he buckled up from there. And he left his fly open, not by purpose, of course, because Wakas was a slob. He didn't take pride in his appearance, and he didn't give a shit. He was lazy, and he just... He, he didn't buckle his top button up. <laughs> and this is the funny bit, guys. He left his fly open, and Ross was like, Hey, Wakas, you've left your fly open. I was like... No, Wakas was like, Oh, really? So he looks down at his fly, and out of nowhere, a hand pops into his fly. I think you heard me right, guys. A hand. A hand. Popped into Wakas's pants, into from you know the zip part into his pants, and Wakas was like, "Ross, what the fuck are you doing?" He's like, "Dude, your fly's open." I'm like, "He's like, I can do it myself. Get your hand out of my fucking pants." And now Wakas and Ross are having this struggle, which looks extremely, extremely, ho extremely homo, and I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. I mean, I, I didn't even, I didn't even want to get near the two of them. Wakas, Wakas was like holding Ross's hand. He's like, "Get out my pants." And I shit you not, guys, I swear to God, I actually think Ross felt his joint. You know, his his two balls and uh, the little stick that joins together. So I actually think he felt his joint. 
Wakas denied it. I even rang him up today to actually refresh this story. Wakas denies it, but I'm, I guarantee if his hand was in there, he must have felt his joint sometime. So, they're struggling now. Wakas is trying to take Ross's hand out of his pant, and Ross's hand is in Wakas' pant. Now, whilst this is all going down, the whole drama changing room, people are just staring. We're just staring at them. And when Ross's hand finally comes out, he actually takes Wakas' pant with it. So, the pant breaks open, and... Wakas is in a very disgusting position. All of us, all the guys are laughing their asses off. And he's like, dude, what the fuck are you doing, Ross? So he goes home the next, he goes home and his mum's like, how did your pant um, lose its buckle? He's like, he told his mum the truth, basically. He's like, mum, someone put their hand down my pant. So his mum calls his dad and he's like, you have to go to uh, Wakas, you have to go to the school tomorrow and see why Wakas was sexually harassed. His dad was like, oh, he's sexually harassed. And him was like, no, 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 he's sexually harassed. By a boy, and his dad was furious. He came into the school, um, told off Ross, and every single every single person that you knew about this, we were all laughing our asses off, and it was extremely hilarious. Ross got suspended, of course, for sexual harassment against a guy. Wakas was traumatized, and he didn't even want to talk about this. But I I begged him to let me do this story, and he's like, okay, fine, and this is what happened. And that that's the end of the story, guys. But uh, well. Oh, oh my god, Ross's hand was down Wakas' pants! And I could not stop laughing at this development. Oh, that was hilarious. Now you're probably wondering why have I added four extra minutes of this video? Well, well, well. Remember when I made that 100th video? Uh, um, I was going to do something for my 100th video? Well, guys, here it is. For my 100th video, it's going to be an open zombies lobby. And what I mean by open, we're going to do the new map Moon. And for that, it's going to be on Xbox 360. Two piece on my C4, that's what I'm talking about. So, open lobby on my Xbox, that's going to take place on Saturday, two, Saturday 1 a.m. UK time. So, the date is Saturday, would be the 3rd of. What comes after August? September, I think? Yeah, it does. Well, I'm such an idiot. So, the 3rd of September at 1 a.m. UK time. I'm only doing 1 a.m. UK time because you might be from America and we have a time difference. So it's easy for you guys to play. So 1 a.m. UK time, I will be doing a zombies open lobby. Now, how do I get in this? Well, first of all, guys, you have to have a mic. And I'm trying to do 360 no-scopes over here, but I fail epically. You have to have a mic. And you also have to um, have the new maps, of course. And look at this laggy bastard. Look, look at him. He's like moonwalking all over the place. I'm like, what the fuck? I eventually get him though. So, you have to have a mic, you have to have the new map pack uh, for Moon, and we're playing Moon, and this is how you participate. You're only allowed one chance, so think wisely before you actually do it. You put your gamer tags in the comments below. You also um, have to comment on the video, of course, if you want to. No, I'm only joking. So, you have to put the comments, uh, you have to put your gamer tag, and you have to be on Xbox, of course. Put your gamer tags in the comments below, and you have to have a mic, have to have the new map pack. Also, guys, uh, this is how it works. I'm going to think of a number between 1 and 100. I've already got the number in my head. And what you guys do is the guy, the three guys who are actually closest to my number will get to do the Zombies Open Lobby with me. And that's it. That's how it works. And what you do is you're going to put your gamer tag in the comment. And you're also going to put a number, I don't know, a random number, one between 1 and 100, of course. And the three guys who are actually the closest will get to play Zombies with me. The deadline for this, well, uh, you can do it just before Saturday, but the guys who actually do it, I really appreciate if you could do it just before Saturday or on Friday night, so it's easy for me to actually get this organised. And uh, it's 1am, remember that guys, 1am, look at these three idiots, okay, I get one, I get the other one, and this guy's just looking at me, he doesn't even shoot, so I, I no-scope him. I mean, what the hell were they doing? I, I threw two C4s up, I shot one bullet, and they still didn't see me. And I get over in my head, and I get shot here, so I just get on. So 1am UK time, and uh, I'd love a like and a favourite on this video, guys. It really helps me out. We, you wanted some sniping gameplay, so I thought I'd put this in. I really do hope you enjoyed the Ross and Waka story. It was extremely homo, and it was it's 100% true, except for probably um, Ross touching Waka's joint, because that's 90% confirmed. I should ring Ross up and ask him about it, and he's probably full homo by now. But guys, I really do hope you enjoyed episode 3 of Back in the Day. Hosting the Open Zombies Lobby on 1st of, I mean not the 1st, the 3rd of September, which is a Saturday, this Saturday that's coming up. 
I really do hope uh, a lot of you try and comment because I really do want to play more with my subs and hopefully we get to a really high round and you guys become famous on the YouTube. Oh my god, that was epic. 360 and I don't get anyone else. Of course I don't. Get. Oh, I just get owned. The sniper rifles have been like really unnerved. I mean, they're really powerful now. I've seen loads of people just like quick scoping and no scoping all over the place, especially on Nuketown. It's when you play Express, they're like boom, 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 and I get my ass kicked. So that's it, guys, for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed the back in the day story. I actually had to make this video a lot longer because I want to include the open lobby, open lobby zombies thingy. If you're still confused, please look in the description below, and it hopefully clears any confusion but I, I think it's pretty simple and pretty fair you're only allowed to put it down once the number only once and uh, gamer tag of course please put your gamer tag down I will add you you don't have to add me and uh, that's that's about it so yes guys please like this video I really enjoy doing back in the day series there's a lot more um, I do it weekly and I can't believe I didn't knife that guy he just like dodged me what the hell and he's got ghost because he's a fag so please like this video and if you didn't like it and you were offended by it in any way please don't dislike it because I really want to grow and a like really helps it it just it motivates the youtuber and it makes me really happy so thanks for watching my name is Vix open lobby on Saturday thanks again and I love you my loyal subscribers a lot of you are really loyal and hopefully this Saturday 1 a.m. UK time I will try not to forget we will have a lot of fun raping zombies and thanks for watching peace out